Welcome back to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders across the digital infrastructure world. And we're sitting here at PTC in beautiful Honolulu, Hawaii right now. And right now I'm joined by Chris Downey with Flex Central. Thanks so much for stopping by. Yeah, thanks for having me. It's great to be here. Have you been enjoying PTC so far? Absolutely. Uh, this is probably my 15th PTC. So I've um, been able to see, you know, the conference grow to from, you know, more of a for a buyer exchange to and you know kind of industry leading uh, conversation agenda, so it's been awesome. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, it's it's definitely turned into a can't miss event here in the industry. So we're so glad that you're here. Yeah. Before we dive in and talk a little bit more about what you have going on at Flexential, we want to point out greener data. Of course, we've got the last copy here on the table, um, but you are going to be a, an author contributing to our next chapter coming out very soon, Earth Day of this year. Can you give us a little sneak peek of what your chapter is about? Yeah, sure. Um, and I was uh, it was a privilege to be able to participate. There's a lot of a lot of great topics uh, in the greener data. Uh, book here, so I'm looking forward to the to the release, if you will. Um, but uh, I'd say, for my part, it was really about the evolution and the uh, innovation of data center technologies, and so, in particular, at a time when sustainability has become, um, you know, a really important thing for the industry and and also the world. So I talk about how you know advanced power and cooling technologies have changed, or quite frankly, need to change if they're going to continue to to really uh, allow for the digital transformation that um, that really our customers are looking for and the, and, and the world needs. So um, it's a very dynamic uh, area, and uh, and you know I think I have some credibility to to lend to uh, how that has evolved and really what needs to happen over the course of the next decade. Well, we look forward to reading the chapter. Awesome. Yeah, thanks. All right, well, let's um, switch gears here just a little bit and talk about what's been going on lately with Flexential. So you recently announced Flexential Fabric. Uh, can you tell just tell us a little bit about that and how um, your customers will be using that? Yeah, absolutely. So perhaps just before I before I get to that, Flexential's got a really a national platform of data centers. We have 41 facilities across 19 U.S. geographies, but uh, interconnection really the glue that that makes that a platform um, is is really the network resources that we bring to bear. So we've been investing in in really network resources of Flexential for the last 20 years, but in the last seven years in particular, really building capabilities that are are almost um, the, the, the first time the market has seen it. So uh, Flex Central Fabric is really a, a next generation solution that allows for uh, software defined um, uh, uh, um, software defined uh, uh, networking capability um, and and really software definite that software divine component really make it, it makes it almost seamless for the customer to to consume that uh, that resources but because we, we have a broad range of interconnection solutions within the flex central plat platform that ability to access all of those capabilities over a single port is really the the, the, the first time component of the flex central fabric offering so we have a whole uh, array of resources from from um, IP transport to um, uh, direct uh, uh, private line uh, connections between uh, between facilities that we call data center uh, interconnect. We provide our own pri private cloud resources to customers. We also provide federation to the hyperscale cloud resources. And then uh, we also have some virtualized um, uh, product capabilities on the data protection front, which has become uh, increasingly important to almost every customer uh, in the world. And so really over that single single port connection, it's kind of one and done. So you can connect to all of those resources that are embedded in the Flex Any, uh, Flex Anywhere platform uh, over that single connection. And and that, that heretofore hasn't been available to, to customers. So we're very excited about it. Absolutely. It's something to be excited about. Yeah. You mentioned Flex Anywhere, and I wanted to ask you about the Flex Anywhere platform. So so how do you define that? Um, and then what are those main benefits for the customers and, and the partners? Yeah, so one? the uh, Flex Anywhere platform is really our um, our moniker for everything that we do within the uh, within that that breadth of uh, of data center capabilities that I that I talked about earlier. And so it's a, it's about reach, which gives customers the um, the ability and the agility to scale um, wherever they need to. Um, and it also um, uh, provides 
the optionality to access resources um, on on demand that are elastic based on the the requirements of the customer, whether it's a requirement today or it's a requirement uh, three three uh, three years from now. So Flex Anywhere is is not just about geographic reach; it's about um, flexing to the uh, the resources, be it physical um, in terms of colo or physical level cost connects, or to uh, to flex to products that you're going to need. So it's both about reach, but it's also about uh, scalability within the product themselves. And with our industry shifting and evolving so quickly, you have to be ready to quickly turn it on and, and flex to where you need to be. Absolutely. Speaking of the future, I would be remiss if I didn't ask you while we've got you here, what do you see as far as trends for 2024 and beyond in the co-location? Yeah, uh, well, it's... Uh, it's a great question uh, because 2023 really saw a whole set of unprecedented uh, trends, uh, uh, I'd say, set upon the industry and uh, all and all great things, but um, really seismic shifts in the way that um, our product is consumed and thus the expectation of how quickly and at what scale we need to deliver it. Um, and that's not just the data center itself. It's the interconnection that enables um, really the federation of the, the those large scale data sets anywhere and everywhere they need to go. And and so I'm you know really talking about the, the, the AI and GPU uh, compute capability that is now you know available to everyone that's really transforming um, uh, the way that people consume our resource. So for 2024, I think it's keeping pace with that is critically important, but then also recognizing that there may be additional seismic shifts about how our customers, um, uh, and I'm, I'm kind of talking about the enterprise customers here, consume our resource. How do they consume a colo resource relative to a virtualized compute resource? Because um, Given some of the constraints on raw on, on raw materials, there may have to be an elasticity in in other product sets to allow the compute to kind of to 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 be as agile as it needs to be. And what is, to your point, become an incredibly uh, complex um, dynamic in uh, in the data center domain. Yeah. Well, anything else you want our viewers to know about Flex Central and what you might have coming up in the next year? Yeah, for us, as we uh, as we look to 2024 and beyond, it's really about um, scale and 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 bringing um, the resources that we've invested so much time and effort in uh, to our customers in as as dynamic um, and as scalable a way as uh, as possible. And so, um, and we we talked about interconnection here in particular. Okay. That's that's really a focal part of our business. It's really a, a lifeline for um, for making our data center resource as dynamic as it needs to be for customers. So you'll see Flexential's, um, and we've committed that to our existing customers. We'll continue to invest in that year in and year out. And um, and um, and always great to, to be here at PTC. Well, it's, always, it's great to have you here at the JSA TV desk. So thank you so much for stopping by. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your experience here at PTC for the, what, 15th year you said, yeah? 15th year. So <laughs> wow. um uh, it's going to be great. Uh, it's been great so far, and uh, I'm on a panel a little bit, but thank you for your time as well. Absolutely. Well, thanks again, Chris, for stopping by, and thanks to our viewers for tuning in, and stay connected.